Pneumonia is a serious lung infection. But did you know there are different types? Today, we are breaking down the key differences between bacterial and viral pneumonia. Understanding the cause can make a big difference in treatment and recovery. Pneumonia is an infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both lungs. These sacs, called alveoli, may fill with fluid or pus, making it harder to breathe. It can be caused by bacteria, viruses or even fungi. But bacterial and viral types are the most common. Bacterial pneumonia is most often caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae, but others like Haemophilus influenza or Mycoplasma pneumoniae can also be culprits. Symptoms tend to appear suddenly and may include high fever, productive cough with green or yellow mucus, chest pain when breathing, and rapid breathing or shortness of breath. In severe cases, it may cause confusion, especially in older adults. Treatment? Antibiotics are effective, but early diagnosis is key. Viral pneumonia is caused by viruses like influenza, respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, and SARS-CoV-2, the virus behind COVID-19. Symptoms may develop more gradually and include low to moderate fever, dry cough, muscle aches, fatigue and weakness, and headache or sore throat. Unlike bacterial pneumonia, the cough in viral pneumonia often produces little or no mucus. Antibiotics don't work against viruses, but rest, fluids, and sometimes antiviral medications can help. Here's a quick comparison. Onset. Bacterial is sudden. Viral is gradual. Fever. Higher in bacterial. Mild to moderate in viral. Cough. Wet in bacterial, dry in viral. Treatment Antibiotics for bacterial, supportive care for viral. That's why accurate diagnosis matters. Sometimes doctors use chest x rays, blood tests, or even sputum cultures to figure it out. Both types of pneumonia can be serious, especially for young children, older adults or people with weakened immune systems. The best prevention? Get vaccinated against flu and pneumococcal disease. Wash hands frequently. Don't ignore persistent coughs or chest pain. Stay informed, stay protected, and always talk to a healthcare provider if you notice any concerning symptoms. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more health science videos.